Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Henry, and you are watching on the Royal Hive, the channel where we celebrate the births and lives of historic royal figures from around the world and across time. If you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing for more. If you would like me to do a deep dive on one of your favorite royals, leave a comment down below. For those who have subscribed before, thank you and welcome back. If you are celebrating your birthday today, or if you know someone who is, I wish you and them a very wonderful day. We have two historic royal birthdays to celebrate, our first celebrant being Louise Elizabeth de Orleans who was born today in 1709 to parents Philippe II, Duke of Orleans, and his wife, Françoise Marie de Bourbon. She was Queen of Spain through her marriage to King Louis I, the union being childless. Their reign as monarchs were the shortest in Spanish history, ending in the death of Louis seven months after he ascended the throne. Louise Elizabeth caused many scandals during her time in Spain, including showing her intimate parts to courtiers and using her own clothes to clean the windows and floors of the palace. She was thought to have suffered from an undiagnosed borderline personality disorder by modern historians. After the death of her husband, her marriage to him was annulled and she moved back to France where she died at the age of 32 on June 16, 1742. Our second and final celebrant for today is Charles Theodore, German elector of Bavaria, who was born today in 1724 to parents Johann Christian, Count Palatine of Sulzbach, and Marianne Henriette Leopoldine de la Tour d'Auvergne, Margravine of Bergen op Zoom. He was also Prince Elector and Count Palatine of the Rhine and Prince Elector of Bavaria. While in the Palatinate, founded an Academy of Science and collected pieces of art for the museum, winning him popularity amongst the populace. He married twice. His first wife was Countess Palatine Elizabeth Augusta of Sulzbach, their only son dying a day after his birth. His second wife was Archduchess Maria Leopoldine of Austria Este, their union being childless. He died at the age of 74 on February 16, 1799. Johann has brought us to the end of the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the content and my telling of it and, if you did, like and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.